What's up guys and welcome to my mid 2017 graphics card buyer's guide. So today I'm gonna help you guys in buying a graphics card that's right for you. So I categorize the graphics cards to certain categories to address the different type of users. My method in choosing a graphics card is price to performance. So if a graphics card is priced too high for the performance it gives, then I won't recommend it and I don't care about RGB. Regarding pricing, I think it's best if I put like a price range for each graphics card just to give you guys an idea if you're paying too much for a specific card. Also, I'm not gonna give you options if you're team red or team green. I'm gonna give you the best value you can get. And if you want to see benchmarks of the cards I'm gonna mention, then I'll leave the links to pretty much every channel that covers benchmarking. Finally, regarding which brand you're supposed to buy for said cards, just don't go with Gigabyte. Yeah, for now. Um, as some custom coolers made by Gigabyte tend to do more harm to the card than cool it. So first off, for those in a budget and doesn't have a powerful CPU to maximize the performance of their GPU, aka bottlenecking, which I'll be discussing in a future video since a lot of people are still confused by it. So while the GT 1030 and RX 550 are good budget cards, in my opinion, their price isn't justified by the performance they offer. So I'm gonna give the crown for the best budget card to the GTX 1050 coming in at 110 to 120 US dollars. So for my viewers in the Philippines, just multiply the prices I'm gonna say by 50. And just to summarize, the 1050 definitely more than enough for MOBA games such as Dota 2, League of Legends, and CSGO. Also sufficient for 1080p gaming although considering that you will lower the graphic settings from medium to high in AAA titles if you want to stay at or above 60fps. Also, maybe if you can get a GTX 750 Ti for $50, then by all means, buy that if your budget is really limited. Now, for the rest of the cards I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna assume that you have a decent CPU like an i5 or R5-1600. For the 1080p sweet spot, I went with the RX 570 4GB version coming in at $180 to $200 as this is the 1080p sweet spot. So, you can pretty much max out the settings in any AAA title and still average well above above 60 fps. Now for the two cards I've mentioned, those are pretty much low powered cards and doesn't really need Asterix, Nitro Plus, Gaming X, and Triple Coolers. Yep, those version of the cards cost way too much and trust me when I say you don't need that. So for gaming app 1440p, I went with the GTX 1060 6GB version as a solid 1440p card for the price coming in at 250 to 260 US dollars. And also if you can get an RX 580 8GB version for the same price, then that's also an option. In the same category, since a lot of older cards are getting price drops, the R9 390X and 380X are also good options considering you can get them at $200 and $150 respectively. Also, mind you that these two are more power hungry and run a little hotter compared to the 1060 and 580. And lastly, for 4K gaming, I'm gonna assume that money isn't a problem for you, don't me. So for a solid 4 4K card for the price, we have the GTX 1080 coming in at 500 to 550 US dollars. Now, for everyone in the Philippines, you can't get a 1080 in that price range as the cheapest one you can get right now is the Zotac Amp Extreme at 29,000 pesos. And if that's the case, you might as well go for a Founders Edition GTX 1080 Ti for 35,000 to 37,000 pesos as a better value. And I think that's gonna do it. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment and i'll do my best to answer all of them i hope this helped you guys out leave a like share and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing as always bookmark and use my lazada affiliate link when buying at lazada as a way to support my channel don't worry as it won't have any additional charges to your purchase it just gives me a small kickback every time you use my link when buying at lazada and if you don't mind donating at all i'll also leave the link to my patreon in the description down below thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one